You've seen volcanoes on land. Huge eruptions send up plumes of ash, and molten lava can stream over the landscape. There are more than 1,500 known volcanoes, but did you know that most volcanoes are underwater, deep in the ocean, and remain to be explored? Most of the volcanic eruptions on Earth are in the deep ocean. Where should we look for volcanoes underwater? Let's look for the newest volcano in the chain of Hawaiian islands, Loihi. But how do we look? Here, the remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, Jason, is being deployed from a research vessel. Jason has a long tether, or cable, that transmits video and allows pilots to control the manipulator arms. With Jason, scientists can sample the seafloor without leaving the deck of the ship. Loihi's summit is 1,200 meters, or about three-fourths of a mile down. Warm fluids vent from the summit at hydrothermal vents. These fluids contain iron, which provides energy to a special type of microbe, iron-oxidizing bacteria, that grow into rust-colored microbial mats, like a carpet on the seafloor. Scientists collect microbial mats using a suction sampler held by Jason. These bacteria are being studied for their role in chemical cycles in the ocean. Where else might we discover volcanoes underwater? See the large number of volcanoes that circle the Pacific Ocean? This is called the Ring of Fire. But the Ring of Fire also goes underwater. The stars show where deep sea vents have been found. Most of these are at underwater volcanoes. The Ring of Fire closely follows the Earth's plate boundaries. See how the vents line up on the red plate boundaries and are just offset the purple boundaries? Let's look in the Western Pacific at the purple convergent boundary where the Pacific plate is colliding with and dipping under the Australian plate. We'll head to a volcano called West Mata where one of the first volcanic eruptions ever observed underwater was recorded. Listen as scientists discover the eruption at 1,200 meters, about three-fourths of a mile down. Oh! Look at that! <laughs> three years later, the volcano was no longer erupting, but warm fluids poured out as hydrothermal vents. The ROV is holding a net to sample shrimp so scientists can learn where they may have come from to colonize the vent. Let's look again at the plate boundaries in the Pacific. This map shows the age of the seafloor across the Pacific plate. The oldest seafloor is near the convergent boundary. The newest is at the red, divergent boundary, also called the mid-ocean ridge. Here, the seafloor is spreading apart and we can observe firsthand that new crust is being produced. How? Let's dive to find out. Axial Seamount is located on the mid-ocean ridge at 1,500 meters, about a mile deep. Here, hydrothermal vents are being studied over time as part of an underwater observatory. Tube worms thrive in this extreme environment where hot vent fluids and cold seawater mix. In 2011, a volcanic eruption paved over the vent sites and new vents had formed. Some spewed microbes, like the snowblower vent shown here. Scientists put instruments at the new vents to take fluid samples over the next year. When they returned to recover their instruments, new animals had colonized the vents and even their instruments. Let's look at the age of the seafloor across the whole Earth Remember, the newest seafloor is red. Can you see where new crust is being produced in all the ocean basins? The mid-ocean ridge is the largest volcanic feature on Earth, and deep sea vents are distributed along it. As we continue to explore the deep sea, we are likely to find more vent sites with unique life.